Hey guys, it's me, Tapping Mound, and today I will be playing one of my all time favorite games. Today, I will be playing the game known as the one, the only. It's the title screen pop up right now, please. Or you could just watch some people running. You guys should be able to guess what game it is by now by the title and all this stuff. But still, it's gotta be a surprise. I'm playing freaking. Pokemon <laughs> Groudon Kyogre And today the game I'll be playing features that guy and the game I'll be playing is Pokemon TM Yep, that's it Emerald version what? I did not guess. This is such a surprise turn of events. Let's start it up. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this will be the game I'll be playing. But I'm just playing it. I'm doing something else with it. I was showing that in a couple, like, minutes. However, clock events will no longer occur. New game. Let's start this thing up. This is a pretty long one. Oh, my God. Here he is. My favorite guy ever. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I gotta change the text speed. My name is Birch. That's a cool name. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Lotad. Hint, Lotad's got any Pokemon I'm gonna catch. What? I didn't hear anything. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon. At times, as friendly playmates, and at times, as cooperative workmates. And sometimes, we band together and battle other po other like us. Others like us, yeah. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokémon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokémon. To unravel Pokémon mysteries, I've un been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are my name. Oh god, what I even name it. Are you a boy or a girl? Decision of my life right here. Boy? Girl. Girl? Boy. <laughs> okay, I'm a boy. I like the boy. He looks cool in this game. Alright, what is your name? My name? My name is... No! T-A-P-Y. Tap it. Space, space, space. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So it's Tappy, space, space, space. Ah, okay. You're Tappy, space, 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 who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. God, I hope this isn't gonna be some kind of My Little Pony ripoff. <laughs> well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me at my Pokemon Lab. You don't mean my Pokemon Lab. Spoilers. And here we are. Oh my God! There's an earthquake. The ground is moving, and the boxes are jumping. Oh my God! The boxes are now dancing. Let's get out of here. Oh, we were just in the back of a truck because we're orphans and we live in the back of trucks. What? <laughs> no, we're just so, we're just freaking, we're just like freaking stubborn. I'm trying, I'm, must have been tired, tired and riding with our things in the moving truck. Yeah, you care so much about your son, you put him in the back of a truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. Well, cool, how do you drive a truck into here? You know, there's like, the truck like three blocks long and the, the entrance to here is never mind. It has a quaint feel and it seems like an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Tappy Space Space Space. Let's go inside. Oh my god, it's animal labor! See Tappy? Space Space Space. Isn't it nice to see her too? The movers Pokemon are do all the work. Wow, that's not animal slavery. Of moving us and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Happy space 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 comma. 
Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're so generous, you know, being rich and all. To mark, mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Okay, these monkey move. Not mon yeah, these monkey movers. They're the most greatest movers ever. This guy, he's just carrying this box back and forth. Let's see. Oh no, he won't even you know ask me to move out of the way. He just moves side to side. So much freaking work. And this guy's just watching TV. Screw working. What's he gonna say? Fuji. And this guy. Say something. Hugo, Ugo, Ugo. They are the Pokemon Vigoroth, slack offs of all form. But we'll be getting into Pokemon much later because half of this game is dialogue. What? This is a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to this to serve as a controller. Oh my god, plugging themselves in their own video game. Nintendo. The clock is stopped. Oh my god, the clock is late. Better start it. I don't care. Uh, since the clock has almost no use in this game. No use that I'm going to exploit. So it's 6 o'clock p.m. right now, I guess. One. Three. Okay. Let's just do this perfectly. Move it over to here. And it's 6.15. Okay. Confirm. Is this the correct time? No. Yeah. Okay, that was useful. Tappy, space, space, space. How do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. I didn't say good. I didn't say I liked it. I hate it. In fact, I'm never going to even live here. I'm just going to move out, you know, after like 10 seconds of gameplay. Mom. Oh, tappy space space space. Tappy space space space. Come, quick, come out quickly. Look, it's Pedalberg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. Dad in all caps. Is that his name? Just Dad. We brought you this report from the front of Pedalberg Jim. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. You know, I'm gonna, I can see my dad just by walking like 20 steps. I don't really need to see him on TV. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door. Or do you? Oh, do. Oh, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, mom. Um, see you in like ten years or something. I'm never coming back. I'm just gonna go. Professor Birch lives next door. Professor Birch says, "Wait a minute. So this whole town comprises of Professor Birch's house, my house, and." Professor Birch's Pokemon Lab. Where do these people live? I mean, look at them. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying. Then he'll st suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? Well, you know, he could just walk like, I don't know, 10 steps to get home. And where do you live? How do you get so much food? You're so fat. The PC can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. It's not science. It's freaking Pokemon. And where do you live, little girl? Are you just going to sit here and beg for my money? You know what? I'm going to talk to you. Just, just, I'm going. I'm going out into the wild. What? Oh, oh, your job. Um, um, if, if you go outside and go in the grass, wild Pokemon will jump out. Oh, it's dangerous if you don't have your own Pokemon. So what you're saying is it's dangerous to go alone. I need to take a Pokemon. Okay. I'm just going to go to the lab, I guess. Because... That's what you do in every game. And that little girl, apparently her job in life is to do that. Where do you live? What? Do you just, do you just all just live out? Do you live inside this lab? Does everyone just sleep in here? Professor Burt's like a nice guy and just stays here. And where's the beds? Do you just sleep on the floor? I'm not going to read what he's saying. You guys can read if you really want. Okay. Now let's go. To Professor. What? Oh. Okay. Actually, no, I know what's going on. I'm supposed to go to um May's house first. May is awesome, by the way. What's this say? Little Root Town. A town that can't be shaded any hue. What? I don't get it. Okay, there's probably so many things I don't get about this game. I have not played third gen very much. Oh, hello, and you are... Dot, 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 dot. Yep, that's my name. Oh, you're Tappy Space Space Space, our new next door neighbor. Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Cool. Story, bro. 
Our daughter was excited and making new friends. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Okay, so you guys just... Wait a minute, there's only one bedroom in this one house. Who lives in the, who's in the Pokeball? What is in it? I want to open it. Oh my god, she's a GameCube too? We can could, we could play co-op online. Aren't you supposed to like go upstairs? It's not working for me, is there a glitch? I'm pretty sure you can go upstairs. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to. Never mind. Huh? Who who are you? Dot 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 dot. Again! They know my name so well these days. Oh, you're Tabby Space Space Space. So, your move was today? Hi. I'm um I'm May. Glad to meet you. I I, I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. So basically you're a furry. Just kidding, everyone's friends with Pokemon. I was hoping that you would be nice, Tappy Space Space Space, and that we could be friends. <laughs> you're wrong, I'm not nice at all. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I I've just met you, Tabby Mamon, and this is crazy. That's why I saw Tappy Mamon. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go get to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Happy space day space. I'll catch you later. I'm not a Pokemon. You're not catching me any day. Nuh uh. Oh my, I'm going up there to tell her right now. Where'd your Pokeball go? I wanna play GameCube. It's a Nintendo GameCube. Hey, Game Boy Advance is kind of You have a Game Boy Advance too? Oh my god! It's actually it's I was gonna say everyone in this town the same, but Yes, everyone this time just had the same exact room except mirrored. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready and how does your freaking PC have the powers of a Pokemon Center? Oh my god, I'm freaking mad today. I'm leaving. Little Root Town sucks. I'm gonna go freaking steal some of your dad's Pokemon. Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? You know, there's no Pokemon like in this half in this area, so you don't really have to have Pokemon. He help me! Oh, that's not Professor Birch's voice. I forgot his voice. I'm I'm gonna look back at the recording tomorrow. Hello, you over there? Please help. What are you talking to, Puchena? No, Puchena. I mean Zigzagoon. In my bag, there are some Pokeballs. Okay, so put steal your bag. I get it. So which Pokemon should I choose? Huh. Well, that's what I'm going to tell you guys, the main gimmick of this run of the game. There's one Pokemon that I have to choose. Regularly, the choices are Mudkip, which is obviously the greatest choice ever. Well, my, well, it's obviously the awesomest Pokemon ever, because it's freaking water ground, only has one weakness, which is grass. It, and it's just extremely powerful. It's basically just a defensive tank. Not a defense, defensive mainly, but... It's a tank. Torchic, which evolves into a fire fighting type, and which is freaking cool. Um, my friend is doing a left play of this game, Nick P8286, I believe his name is. And he chose Torchic, so it's very good. It's a extremely fast fire type. It's in fact Uber, like in tears. So if you were the one that's in competitive battles, you're not gonna be able to use it in like an OU match. Uh, Mudkip is, I believe, UU. But the Pokemon I'll be using is Triku. Trico. Because my friend, who's in the left play of this game, my other friend, um, Enderman Stream, you can watch him. He's pretty cool. Nick P8286 is doing Torchic, and I'm doing Trico. Trico! Oh my god, I got a great name for Trico right now. But okay. Basically, the gimmick of this run is a unitype run, meaning that I'll be using, using one type of Pokemon. That type is gonna be Grass. Yes. So my starter Pokemon will be Trico. I have a great name for him now, because I just freaking got this guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if we start off with doing, knowing Pound and Leer, um, Torchic starts out knowing, I believe, Scratch and, Scratch and, like, Growl. Leer will lower the defense, Growl, and Growl will basically lower their, um, attack. So, they're completely useless moves, I, in my opinion, because you can get better moves that do the same exact effect later on in the game. And he knows Growl, so he's going to lower my attack, and I'm going to win this battle. Easy as that. I can lose that battle if I really want to, but you just black out and go back to the beginning of the game, I believe. And there, experience points. 
If you don't know how to play Pokemon, after you win a battle against a wild Pokemon, you get experience points, you can learn some experience points to level up, and it levels up to get stronger, and then it can evolve. I was t I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh. Hi, you're Tappy Space Space Space. This is not a place to chat, so come and buy a Pokemon Lab later, okay?